ChatGPT from OpenAI has taken the tech world by storm with its so real it's creepy ability to answer questions on a variety of topics. OpenAI is the innovative research company founded in San Francisco in 2015 by a bunch of smart guys, most notably Sam Altman and Elon Musk. The traffic around the website has grown so rapidly that it's sometimes harder than trying to get into a party you weren't invited to. ChatGPT can help you with almost anything. Need birthday party ideas? Help with programming? A pickup line for the next cutie you see? ChatGPT has it covered, and it's about to get smarter. GPT-4 is the newest language model from OpenAI and is expected to be released in the first quarter of 2023, according to the New York Times. But what can we expect from it? Well, number one, there's the processing speed. The next iteration of the language model will be able to process faster and more accurately. Rumors are going around about the development of GPT-4, and if they're true, we can anticipate even more advanced capabilities and improved performance. GPT-4 will turn the world of AI on its head once released and show what artificial intelligence is truly capable of. On this episode of AI Focus, we're going to discuss how GPT-4 might even change the trajectory of the entire world's future altogether. Feel free to subscribe if you want to hear about all the latest AI updates and news. ChatGPT is a natural language model that has been programmed to hold natural conversations reminiscent of humans. It's a special kind of program called a generative language model, which means it can write and understand like a person by using something called the transformer architecture. The transformer architecture allows the computer to pay attention to different parts of a sentence at different times. This helps it understand the sentence better and respond more accurately. Transformer architecture is a true innovation in tech as it's allowing AI to respond and communicate like it never has before. In order for ChatGPT to become intelligent, it had to learn from a lot of things people have said and written on the internet. That's why it needs a lot of computer power to work. But OpenAI wanted to make sure that when you talk to its language model, you felt like you were conversing with any old guy or gal on the street. To do this, they used reinforcement learning. They'd give ChatGPT a test and humans would rank how well it did. And all this learning and testing was done on a supercomputer, making ChatGPT capable of responding to a person like a person. But to do this requires a lot of energy and computing power. It takes a heck of a lot of GPUs to run ChatGPT. OpenAI's GPT series has been increasing its parameters with every release. GPT-1 had 117 million parameters, GPT-2 had 1.2 billion parameters, and GPT-3 really pushed the envelope with 175 billion parameters. But how many parameters will it take to get to the center of GPT-4? Some say this number could reach 100 trillion parameters, which would put it on par with the human brain's neural connections. Not all ChatGPT-4's neurons, however, will be active at any given time, making it more efficient, reducing computing costs, and give it the ability to understand context. According to the scaling hypothesis, as we increase the size of a model and computational power, performance also increases. And this is the hypothesis that gets all the AI fanboys jumping for joy. But the larger model doesn't always mean better performance, and training a large model like that could prove to be unaffordable for some companies. So instead of size, OpenAI may move to focus on algorithms. We've seen the power that GPT-4 will command, but what about the money? Running GPT-4 on a cloud service like Azure could run OpenAI $3 million per month. This may explain why OpenAI got all buddy-buddy with Microsoft. I would have too. Will new architecture be needed to keep up with the demands of these new models? When asked that very question, Micro Musolisi, who is a professor of computer science at University College London, said that the problem with the computers we have now is that they aren't good at the special types of maths that AI models need. They are better at general things. Luckily, Meta, Microsoft, and NVIDIA are all working on supercomputers to tackle this issue. But even these computers can't hold all the data required for these AI models on one computer. The solution is to build newer computers that can collaborate to run these models. This is essential to the future of AI. Bigger and better models.
and with these bigger and better models, we will see a positive impact on the economy in many sectors. In the business field, for example, GPT-4 can automate mundane tasks like data entry, customer service, and financial analysis. It can even help with decision making by providing recommendations based on huge collections of data. We're talking increasing productivity, saving time, and money all at once. In tech, GPT-4 can enhance natural language comprehension, which is essential for VAs and chatbots. It can improve the accuracy and naturalness of text-to-speech and speech-to-text programs as well. On the creative side of things, GPT-4 will be able to create novels, songs, and even visual art. And the possibilities for the NPCs on video games will be endless. But what are the real tricks GPT-4 has up its sleeve? The Microsoft CEO, in an interview with the Wall Street Journal, unveiled the company's plans to expand access to ChatGPT. Microsoft is exploring a number of ways to implement tools like ChatGPT's machine learning algorithms with its own products like Office and Windows. This would mean you would be able to craft a document or an email with the help of ChatGPT, for those of you who aren't doing that already. Microsoft is about to invest $10 billion into OpenAI, validating the company at $29 billion. This investment will help fund the advancement and development of even more technology. And this is the partnership that we will probably look back on as the move that revolutionized the AI industry. With Microsoft's money and OpenAI's brains, the advancement of AI will be fast and imminent. But the adoption of AI tools into everyday life and workflows is still dependent on a reluctant and wary human population. Basically, we don't want to be taken over by super intelligent killer robots. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman completely dismissed the notion that his company would create a system of artificial general intelligence that had human-like abilities. Even with the latest version of ChatGPT, it should be noted that these language models still have limitations and should not be relied on for important tasks. But as far as language goes, these latest versions of ChatGPT mark huge milestones for the advancement of AI. GPT-4, being the latest model, is able to process text at an unbelievable speed, and its ability to generate text will be virtually indistinguishable from a human. This means GPT-4 will be able to write articles, books, and blogs with ease, making it possible for anyone to create high-quality content quickly. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, but this is a positive video. It will also be able to understand the context and meaning of text, making it useful for customer service and chatbots. But these changes apply to the world as a whole. GPT-4 will allow us to analyze huge amounts of data, allowing for quicker breakthroughs in science and technology. It will also do wonders for the economy, increasing productivity in almost every sector. With its release just around the corner, it's truly an exciting time for the world of AI. And we as humans are living in the most interesting time to be alive yet, where the possibilities are endless. Thanks for visiting AI Focus. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to the channel where we focus on everything AI.